Good afternoon and welcome to Music Talk Today. We're here with a very special guest, Johnny, the lead singer of the Philly-based punk post-punk band Swords of Dropouts. The band releases their latest album, Sunset Blush, next month. How are you feeling leading up to the release, Johnny? Well, I'm nervous and excited. Our first single just came out, and I really wasn't expecting it to do as well as it's been doing. And it's been really cool. Now we just have to practice playing the whole record live before we go on tour. This is going to be your first new music in a few years. Uh, how is the process of recording this different from your last EP? It was super different. I was touring a lot over the last year and didn't have a lot of time to go into the studio. So I was kind of partially writing at the same time as recording it. And I spent a lot more time rearranging stuff and making sure the structures were right. Wow, that sounds like an intense process. You must have been really busy. Um, how long did it take you to put the new album together, start to finish? We started doing demos in September 2016, and we did demos until November. And then we started recording in December. We recorded basically from December until April of last year. We were touring a lot, so we had to go into the studio really sporadically. So it took a long time to record. I read an interview where uh, you said that your inspiration for a lot of your songs came to you during everyday activities, like uh, washing the dishes or something like that. Is that always the case, or do you ever just sit down with the intention of writing a song? Well, it's funny you should ask. It's true. I think that's just when stuff comes to me, while I'm just in my element, existing. It honestly works best for me if something comes into my head and I quickly write it down or do a voice memo or I come back to it later. So I don't fully write the song while I'm washing the dishes. I want to ask you a serious question now, Johnny. It seems like a lot of your lyrics are really personal. Um, what is it like sharing your emotions with the world? Does singing personal songs night after night on tour ever take an emotional toll on you? Honestly, most of the time, it's more liberating than anything. But sometimes it does get kind of hard. I've been doing a lot of solo touring over the last year, and that's when it actually hits me, when I'm alone and my band's not there. Sometimes I get really into a zone with a song, and it can be kind of rough. But for the most part, it's therapeutic. Do you ever worry about sharing too much with your listeners? I don't know if I would want random people knowing things about my personal life. I personally, for a long time, have not been the best about talking about my feelings. So I'm glad that I have this project because it gives me a reason to actually express things out loud. And it also has made me better about being open about my life. Even though your songs are personal, they are so catchy and a lot louder than your previous work. Is it fun to play with a full band and a bigger sound? Yeah, the new songs are definitely a lot of fun to play. That was a challenge of the writing process for the new record. With the EP, it was a lot of sad songs. But with this record, I was like, I really don't want to be writing like boring, sad stuff anymore. I want this to be something people can dance to, and I want to be able to jam out on stage. I, it definitely took more effort, but I think it was definitely worth it. Well, you definitely have a lot going on. I can tell you put a lot of work into the songs. Um, what do you hope people get out of listening to the new record? I think that the record makes me feel powerful, and I think that the response to it so far has made me feel a lot less lonely than I did when I wrote it. So. I like people who I would like people who listen to it to feel more powerful and less lonely, the same way that I do. Let's give the audience a sneak peek at one of your new songs. This is called Vacation. Johnny, that's really cool. It looks like you're having fun up there. I wish we could show the audience the full song, but they'll just have to wait until the album's out. Well, luckily, they won't have to wait too much longer. I can't wait for everyone to hear it, and I'm so excited to keep playing these new songs on tour. Do you have a favorite song to play? 
Actually, that one we just heard is one of my all-time favorites that I've ever written. I think the audience was, audiences will really enjoy it live, and I hope everyone feels free to sing and dance along. One more question for you, Sean. You're from Philly, and there is a sh really strong community of musicians and bands in the city these days. Um, how has being part of the Philly music community influenced you? When I first started going to shows in Philly, it was actually somewhat uncomfortable. I found that it was hard to branch out, honestly, so I feel I got off to a bad start. But then it pushed me to actually make an effort with people, and then I found the right people through it. So there are so many good bands and so many good people when you actually get to know them. I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for the friends that I have here who are in bands that come to shows. Well, Johnny, I'm glad you found your place, and I can't wait for the rest of the world to hear the new record when it's out. Uh, that's all for Music today, News Today. Our guest has been Johnny from the band Sorority Dropouts, and their new album, Sunset Blush, comes out on April 20th. You can pre-order it on our website. Just visit www.musicnewstoday.com, and stay tuned next week when we talk about the band Hop Along, about some new music they have in the works.